According to Eurostat, in 2020, of the almost 73 million persons employed as professionals or technicians in science and technology in the EU, 51% were women, while 49% were men. Looking into how EU member states fare, Lithuania and Latvia have the highest share of women employed in science and technology, with 64% and 63% respectively. On the other end, Austria, the Netherlands, Czechia, Italy, Malta and Luxembourg were the only countries with a share of less than 50%. While these numbers show that progress has been made, there's still room for improvement to further increase women's participation in this field. For this episode of Tech Talk and to mark International Women's Day, we have the pleasure to welcome Rocio Lopez Perez, who is a tech educator at the Luxembourg Tech School. She will share with us her own experience as a woman working in tech and her views on the role of education in closing the gender gap. So, let's jump right in! Welcome to a new episode of Tech Talk. This is episode 14, season 5. How are you, Carla? I'm good. A bit concerned about what's going on in the world. What about you, Luis? Uh, Well, yes, I am more than concerned, I think. I am concerned, I am angry, uh, and probably frustrated as well. And fearful? Fearful as well, but I think there is no much, unfortunately, we can do, although we want to do, probably. Yes, that's true. But anyway, today we have... Oh, what's the topic of today? Before saying we have, it's, what's yes. the topic of today? <laughs> so our topic today is to mark International Women's Day, and it's the one on women, tech, and education. And we have a very special guest with us today. Exactly. And I will say that in Spanish, uh, my mother tongue, uh, uh, bienvenida Rocío López Pérez. Muchas gracias. <laughs> <laughs> gracias. It's a real pleasure to have you here. The and same. A little anecdote on how we met. More or less three or four years ago, we organized a um, hackathon. Yes, a and hackathon. What was that about? Do you remember? Uh, I think it was how to teach uh, finance in a fun uh, way. Way. Yes, for young people, for the younger generation, how to teach uh, finance. Uh, exactly. Yes. Cool. Yes, it was very cool. And why uh, Rocio is here, it's because she works... Um, at the uh, Luxembourg Tech School. Yes, correct. It's Tech School or, or Technology School? Tech School, yeah, Luxembourg Tech School. Tech school. Tech school. We, we call it LTS also. Sure. LTS, <laughs> <you know? laughs> LTS, which is a, a pretty interesting institution that I think it's a, it's now, it's like a non-formal education. It's an, um, yes, it's an ASBL, so mm-hmm. yes, oh, non okay. lucrative association. Um, we are extracurricular school kind of like school program school concept uh, we we are really um, linked to the luxembourgish school system yes that's um, excellent yes we go to the school and we teach our topics it's our such subjects. a beautiful project thank such you a beautiful project, really. <laughs> i'm happy you like it <laughs> yes of course and that's why you're here too exactly so, um i i i leave carla to kick off uh, the interview with the first question but before that, Luis, I think you have some news to share, actually. And I think we should share them now. Oh, wow. You forgot about I feel the news. The pressure. I feel the pressure. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Sad news. Like I always say, life is a train and life has a station. So my PwC station is coming to an end. Uh, and I will move to, well, different institutions soon to continue with my career. So this is my, no, it's not my last episode. There is one more to come. Exactly. So we are telling you now so you can mentally prepare <laughs> for the goodbye. Yeah, well, probably the person, because we already have recruited someone who likely is better than me and more f- and, and funnier. <laughs> so Tech t- Talk will continue. That's going to be difficult. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Tech Talk will still be there for you. Uh, and uh, nothing, I just thank all of you for your committed um attention <laughs> yes 
But okay, you have one more episode, so let's not I get still have one more sad episode. yet. Yes. <laughs> so back to Rocio. Um, well, can you tell us who are you? <laughs> yes, sure. So first of all, I wanted to to thank you for having me here. I, it's our pleasure. <laughs> thank you. I listen to many of your Tech Talk podcasts and they are awesome. So I'm thank really you. pleased to be here. They are yes, really, really nice. good. <laughs> yes. Um, so I can say, yes, my name is Rocio, as Luis said, and I have a um, background in computer science. I work as a tech educator at Luxembourg Tech School. Um, and we, we use the terminology coach. We are coaches. We teach different ah, okay. subjects. We coach our students in different topics from game development, financial technology, AI, space resources, creative coding, and a few more. And actually, um, in fact, m one, my dream when I was little was to be an educator. And I'm very happy to to dedicate um, professionally my life <laughs> to something that I love. That's Very awesome. Cool. Can I enroll? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, of I, course. I wanted to be a student, but so you are an engineer like I am. Yes, correct. So you are my colleague. Then. Yes, but you a different as, kind of engineer, As weird right? as I am. Yes, of course. <laughs> I would say, I would say engineers sure. are weird yes. and because I am, so I have the right to yeah, say Yeah, we, we can say we are <laughs> just special. <laughs> yes, not necessarily in a good way sometimes. <laughs> What does that mean? You no, know, I find I have friends who are engineers and they are so monothematic. Mm. Ah, you, no, I tend not to. No, no, of course not. <laughs> because talk all you, the time about of course, you have also chosen, you know, the education field. So mm -hmm. you are diversifying your view. But the ones that did engineering, Shepa, I don't know, uh, mm -hmm. Shepa, I'm mixing languages. I'm sorry. <laughs> no problem. Uh, I don't know, forestry engineer like mine, and, and they, they just work in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about trees. <laughs> okay. Yes, I get it. That's yes. I mean. Yes. Okie dokie. Thanks so a lot for that. Nice I have a back. question. So, who can enroll? For instance, uh, did you have specific uh, age groups? Uh, yes, we have actually three levels, three okay. different levels. So we have level go. This is for the youngest generation. <laughs> it's from 12 to 14 years old. Uh, level one goes for. I mean, it's aimed uh, at uh, students that are from um, 15 to 19, 20 years old, and the same for level up. But in okay. order to be in level up, you have to complete level one. And okay. yes, now we have these three different levels. Okay. So I can't enroll. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we can try. We can try. We can try to do something. Okay. So I have a second question for you. Uh, and this is about the, the, you know, the process of learning, if I can say that in a way. So how much learning technology skills influences children's future career path it, it's basically if it's impactful or not that's yes. my question i think uh, yes it is definitely it is and not only for their careers path but also for for their everyday lives i think okay. we live in a digital world and it's becoming more and more important to have a certain level of tech literacy and digital skills So many studies show that most jobs require technology skills and no mm -hmm. matter which career children chose, some tech skills are required. So definitely I think it's very important for their careers path and also yes. their daily, uh, everyday life, yes, exactly. basically. <laughs> okay, that's... And that, that probably will influence as well uh, in choosing a career in technology and in yes. science. Yes, for sure. Yes, this definitely has an influence. It has, it has a positive impact, okay. for sure. Because the third question is about that, Carla. Exactly. <laughs> so, as a coach, yes. do you notice any trends? For instance, number of female students joining uh, the Luxembourg Tech School. Is yes. There... Mm, yes, at LTS we can still say that there is a higher number of male students than female students. This is this is like this. Um, LTS started in 2016 with two different levels, uh, level one and level up. Um, and they are, as I said before, they are aimed uh, at younger. I mean, they are young students. They are from 15 to 19 years old. They say adolescents. Or yes, adolescents, correct. Teenagers. Yes. Okay. And now we, we, since last year, we created the Level Go, which is 
aimed at younger students. Those are the youngest. Uh, so they are from 12 to 15, 14, okay. 15 years old. Nice. And this new level dedicated to the younger generation, the younger students, was in part to create, to help close the gender gap. Okay. Um, some studies show that STEM, so science, technology, engineering, and math topics, they in the interest to those topics decreases as girls uh, get older. Ah, oh, really? So, yeah, some studies show that, many oh, actually. Wow. And so we thought that teaching technology at an early age uh, could be one solution to help close the gender gap. Definitely. Do you I think, think it makes sense. Do you think, girls, this is a question for you both. It is because the more you grow old or one grows old, the more one is influenced by society and the rules. And, and the stereotypes, and yes, the stereotypes. for sure. Affect, yeah, I think could so. affect you a little bit more, yes. That's interesting. Hmm. I could never have imagined that. Yeah, I think it makes total sense, it actually. It makes absolute yeah, sense. Yeah, yes, for sure. You can okay. see the difference. And Rocio, it, 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 you know, of like calcul and gross calculation, hmm. the percentage of boys and girls or female and male students is like 30. 30, 70? See, yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. Sorry, I said yes. See, <laughs> yes, I, I was actually checking uh, how many graduate students we had last year, and it was about 70 male students, and 30% was uh, female students. Yes, this year I think we have a little bit higher percentage for female students, but still there is a gap. There's, um, and yeah. is there a difference between levels? So. Is there, okay. Yes, also. In Level Go, uh, we have many female students, mm -hmm. which is nice. really nice. And yeah, this year we have actually many students in Level 1, but still more guys than girls. And in Level Lab, is almost 50 50. So, what, yeah, since they, ha they had to go from one level to another, um, for example, for Level Up, the require, uh, requirement is to to complete mm -hmm. level one, then we we really need to keep. I mean, we want to we want to keep this um, percentage like yeah. mm -hmm. mostly equal, no? Yeah. If it's possible, but and that's why at early and at an early age it's important to teach exactly. these topics. But when you reach level up, hmm. the number, the overall number of students decreases. So there is a hmm. reduction. A curve, yes, going down. Mm, yes, uh, they are also more busy. With yes. many yes. other yes activities and yeah and this year for example is a it is in my opinion a tricky year because of what we we passed <laughs> with the COVID situation mm, they are really busy and and they realize that you need to also give yourself yourself time yes. and, mm -hmm. and they yes I I see them I mean. They come to the class, but it's difficult to keep them also committed as la other years before COVID, for example, when maybe didn't impact so much in, in their social lives, basically. Exactly. And actually, during the, the whole lockdown the past few years, how did you, how did you manage? Were you doing it uh, you know that online? Had, exactly. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> we continued we were that's working, exactly. uh, nice. as always, online. Okay. Everything was online. And it could be done. It yes, okay. it's, it's more tiring, I think, for, for, for students and also for us coaches, but it's possible. But we had hackathons fully online and, wow. and it was, yes, it was quite intense, but it, it was possible. And jury members were also online and, and students and, and really a huge commitment from all That's the sides, all the parts. Yes. Okay. okay. So I will jump to the next question, which is linked to the other one, <laughs> to the previous one, I'm sorry. And it's about interactions. Yes. It's about male and female students when developing a project. Do you see any, I don't know, particular way of working when they interact? It's one assuming or taking the lead, mm -hmm. uh, how does it happen? Yes, so I, I wanted to take advantage of this question to, <laughs> to tell, to I mean, to say that our students are excellent 
students and, and they do an excellent job. She's very proud of them. Yes, That's I'm very, very nice. proud of them. Okay. And uh, every year they leave us speechless with, with their projects yeah. and the performance at the hackathons and events. They are great. So I wanted to take that <laughs> That's to nice. say that. And um, nice. if I have to highlight something, for example, it depends on the um, level. Uh, or the module. So, for example, in the game dev, in the game development module, uh, I could mm, highlight that guys usually take the tasks for uh, the programming tasks, the developing the video game itself, um, and the girls they they prefer to take the art or design development. Mm -hmm. For okay. example, there's a yes. Normally, in in game dev, is where you see this uh, quite. Marked. Marked, yes. But in Level Go, it's totally different. Wow. Both guys wow. and girls, they want to program. They, if we need to connect cables to, to, to create Arduino uh, nice. programs and, and ap okay. applications or, or build uh, robots, they all want to try equally. They, they, there is like less prudence in the mm -hmm. good sense of the word. Mm -hmm. um, it's amazing to see how eager they are for knowledge and curious and they, they all test and try everything at equally. So it's, it's, it, it, yeah. I think it depends on the level and the age. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. So basically it is be crazy and you will go further. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 yes, kind of, because you say they... Well, they sometimes be, be curious be and open-minded. Totally, yes. yes. And you will go further. That's It's very interesting to see how aging and age can influence. Yeah, a lot. And you become Quite a lot. more boring and narrow-minded, I think. You can become. Is that your case, Carla? No. <laughs> I hope. I'm a curious person. You are a curious person. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But... But still, you can compare. I see uh, my my niece, for instance. She's so curious about everything. It's because she's discovering the world, and we already assume, or we already have stereotypes. We yes. already have preconceptions of the things that we've experienced in life. So we put, it's completely different. Yeah. We put boundaries a little bit. Exactly. Yes. I remember at some point when Sofia was growing. Sofia is my daughter. She was asking every single time, <laughs> "Por." <laughs> And why? por no, means why. why. Me oh, too, my mother yes. told me also. <laughs> and why? With that, that way, por. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to think and actually explain yes. it in a way that she, she is going to understand. And, uh, and it's very good that they ask for, for everything. I mean, it's good that they are interested in yes. everything. And it's also a good exercise for us because it makes us think about things that we take for granted, that yes. we know, you t we take for granted that we know. Yeah, yes, know? Yeah, exactly. so completely, it's, uh, yes. It's very nice. So shall I take the next of question? Course. Which <laughs> of course, of course. I talked about stereotypes, so <laughs> yes. actually based on your experience, um, have you identified any stereotypes for women who work in the tech field? Mm, yes, um, I think there are stereotypes and the biggest stereotype would be that women are not as good as men when, techno when technology is involved. Um, the stereotype is changing, but for many women it's still present. Um, and yes, this has repercussions when it comes to attract women to the technological sectors and also seeing them in high positions. Have you ever felt that way, if I may ask? Actually, yeah, I felt, but mm, it changed. So I can ex explain my experience. So, mm, when I went to my the first day of my degree, no, the first day at the university, I felt I I did, didn't belong to that group. Oh really? Yes, we were very very few girls compared to the amount of guys, the number of guys. So um, I felt I didn't belong to that place. That I wouldn't okay. be good enough. And this changed completely. Thanks to my mother, that my mother had quite a difficult life and he, she is my father and mother. So okay. for her, there are no barriers. She immediately, immediately jumps over the barriers. Mm -hmm. And That's also nice. thanks to... a nice to, story, yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, she is super brave and, and told me like, no, no, you just focus on your thing and you are the best and <laughs> I go for it. <laughs> um, of course, always telling me the truth when I didn't do well. <laughs> also telling me you're not doing well, you're, you're not going to pass the exams and it, 
yes, she always had reason. Um, but also thanks to my colleagues, mostly men. And they are great. If they are listening to me, thank you guys. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> yes, really. We we con we are we have You're a WhatsApp still... group. We talk okay. almost every day. Um, we are three girls and fifteen guys, and it's amazing. <laughs> they always encouraged us to continue. To we were all. I mean, we were all the same. We were treated in the same way. Um, Excellent. And this was in Malaga. Yes, in Malaga. Okay. In the, the in the computer science, yes, yes, okay. in the University of Malaga, uh, very very nice group of guys, Excellent. mostly guys, also <laughs> girls, uh, but we are like family. <laughs> but now that that's it's in nice. the in the yeah, that's a university world, but in the work world, you know, in the labor mm -hmm. <laughs> market environment, have you felt any little this kind of little soft remarks we men tend to say and sometimes not even conscious let's mm. let's let's acknowledge i myself can i sh i must acknowledge that sometimes i'm i do it but then is when i reflect oh did i say something right mm. but it's because we are have also grown in this society that yes. and we see that as normal while It is not, and it's only with education, maybe self-consciousness, when you get Sometimes. to understand that. Mm -hmm. So have you felt that thing, that uh, any remark on the way you dress, or maybe, you mm -hmm. know, something in particular? <laughs> uh, I think, as you said, it's mm, unconscious, like mm, you, you, I mean, you, ha you have an inner stereotype. Yes. They mm -hmm. don't try to maybe, I didn't feel like that from, I mean, I love working with men and women, Uh, equally and I never felt uh, any bad comments okay. or um, that I was w there wasn't no intention that's what I want to say yes that's no it. intention uh, I mean I never f they never did something intentionally that could make me feel worse okay, than my male colleagues okay. not at all never but we have those inner stereotypes around mm. our minds around the image of women in technology or high positions but i work i think we are almost uh, 50% girls and uh, women and 50% male uh, colleagues okay. in my job um and yes i never felt uh, okay. any, any anything bad mm. towards me nothing nothing like that i I really mm, understand, I mean, that we have these concepts, but also because uh, men and women, we have been educated differently also. Yes. This is coming from education also. Absolutely. Yes. So um, about dressing or something, this is coming from a long yes. time ago. I mean, yes. uh, you can feel this in primary school already, uh, not only when you go To, to the office or to the school. Exactly. I mean, when you are working. Also at home. Uh, yes, also at home, completely. I yes. it since, since the baby is still not born. You know, the Probably. way in the way fathers, for instance, we talk, if we know it's a boy, mm -hmm. we say, oh, my strong boy, my, you are a, my, you are a, yeah, you are my, a champion. And my weak princess Yes, girl. and the other is, <laughs> yes. oh, no. my little baby, my that, sweetheart. Yes, that needs more protection exactly. from daddy or something. Yes, totally. Some totally. of those, yes. Well, I think some things may change and I hope they will. Some things are just entrenched in the way in our genetics. So yes, I, totally. Yes, exactly. It, it is, yeah, this protection part, the male, male, the men have, we have, it's, it's, I think it's, just don't know inside i don't know this is the way we are yes yes totally it's evolution but anyway let's move to the next question um being a woman in what is still a man's world <laughs> what are the advantages and disadvantages because i think there are advantages too of course there so. are Yes, as I said, I equally like to work with men and women. And if I foc I mean, if we focus on working with men, I would say that you can learn many interesting things from them because uh, they can show how to deal with problems or see situations in certain ways that women might not do, might not consider, might not think like that. Um, maybe because of lack of confidence or Or it's just because of the ma it's, it's a matter of how women and men have been educated. educated. Mm -hmm. yes. So we learn from each other, and this is always an advantage. So I think I learn from my male 
colleagues and, and mm. they also learn from from the female colleagues i, I think <laughs> that's the beauty of diversity <laughs> yes correct yes. yes and regarding disadvantages as i mentioned before stereotypes stereotypes saying that women are not as good as, as men when it comes to technology to engineering or that they are not capable uh, of having leading positions um, these things can make women feel that they have to prove more than their male peers mm -hmm. uh, so in there order, is more pressure yes in mm -hmm. order to be in, in, at the same level and I think those are the downsides that those are disadvantages as you said before Uh, it's not on purpose they don't do maybe anything but you maybe have the feeling that exactly. because you are a woman mm -hmm. you need to prove more yes. to be exactly. at the same level as, a, as your male yes. uh, colleague and they do nothing to make you feel like that this yeah. is coming from from your mind from the stereotypes yes. from what you saw from what you heard from the examples yes. in mm -hmm. the exactly. real world And in my opinion, it is important to be in a diverse environment, as you said, <laughs> and create a healthy community where gender equality uh, is highlighted. Yes. And we both, men and women, are responsible for achieving a more equal world. Yes, absolutely. I think that, and that applies to every single diversity dimension. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you, you hear remarks from the LGBTQ plus community mm -hmm. or maybe in a physical remark because, uh, you know, this world is, is made for thin, healthy, fit people and the ones that don't, f you know, feel that, mm -hmm. yeah, they have, I think they don't feel okay. And it's, uh, Totally, yes. Totally. Now, uh, it's funny, well, it's funny, it's it's a good example of that diversity, Carla, it's uh, <laughs> our work together, because Carla, it's very good at, at um, identifying little details oh that I God. cannot see. Yes, but this is, this is uh, I think, um, we women tend, I mean, we see sometimes some, those tiny details and you guys could be more pragmatic, more like yes. the overview <laughs> yes. is... is Like, yes, do just, and yes. sometimes I get bananas. I have to admit it is say <laughs> it is annoying, right? It is it can be annoying, <laughs> but, I, but it's right. I mean, it, it absolutely proves the result because of the, the outcome, it will be more per well, not hyper, hyper perfect, but it will be more, yeah. But more. I'm also a perfectionist, so that goes okay. together, <laughs> that goes together, <laughs> yes. that goes together for yeah, sure, exactly. Yes. yes. So I move to the next question. It's, um, it's more about uh, the, the, this the education system of the schools and what can they do more to for to influence girls uh, in, in in the sense of well, girls pursuing a career in technology do you think schools play a key role or it's more the family or it's more the you know what i mean it's and both. by schools yeah. it's as an institution but also the teachers as well i think yes. oh yeah yeah well they, they, yeah. the institution mm -hmm. and all the people involved in We, we, I think uh, to answer to that question, I was thinking uh, is basically what we do, I think. Exactly. So we need to bring dedicated courses to the schools. So um, through specialized classes or extracurricular courses, activities, uh, girls could experience a, a world of future career opportunities that they, they wouldn't know about in another way exactly. so if they un unless they go and test it and they see it's part of the school mm -hmm. or, it's, or it's already there they have easy access mm -hmm. to this exactly. um, and indeed this is what at LTS try to achieve by integrating our content into the Luxembourg school system we try to attract the new generations to learn cutting edge technology subjects and uh, by teaching our courses at uh, At an early age, we also try to reduce the, um, the gender gap in tech. Mm -hmm. Rocio, but I have a question that I hope it's politically correct, mm -hmm. I hope. But it's linked to the system in itself because you are kind of non, what is called non-formal education, but very much close or attached to, mm -hmm. the, to the educational system in Luxembourg. But does the Luxembourg system already include anything about uh, technology that, I mean... It, it, what I mean by that, it's, it's already part of the system to influence mm -hmm. women also to 
diversify their career options? It's totally part of okay. it, yes. And they are, in Luxembourg, they are doing it more and more because um, they call us to be in the schools. We are in many Perfect. different schools okay, um, and they want to, to provide those classes, those extracurricular courses to the students. So for sure they are doing uh, something positive by bringing those courses inside the Lux, I mean, already inside in the Luxembourg system. So they mm -hmm. don't need to go to another place. They don't need to enroll in another yeah. in, in institution. institution. Yes. It's already there. This is very important. Also, parents, uh, I would say if there are parents listening to this podcast, if they if they if their daughters, they want to pursue a, a career in tech, they should encourage them and they should enroll them in those courses for them to start testing it, to start mm -hmm. um, practicing and learning. Mm -hmm. And as I said, not only for their careers, maybe after they decide to, to study psychology, psychology, but it's good also for, for their everyday lives like, to exactly. have those digital yeah. skills. So, so those, uh, yes, the tech uh, literacy knowledge is really important. Tech yes. literacy, wow, such an important <laughs> topic. I <laughs> think... That is for every single person in this world. Yeah, I think Otherwise so, yes. Otherwise, you, you will just get a side of society. You will be, a, you know, leave behind. Mm. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. it's very important. Uh, we are in a constant digital revolution, no? Yes. And it's all the time changing and improving and more. Than, it's about technology and programming and robotics and all of this. And yes. have you seen any similar project? let's say, a competitor you know, <laughs> emerging because the idea is cool, is well accepted uh, in the Luxembourg school system and you are being, I guess, more and more required to go and give those courses. Do you think there is, there is an... I, I don't want you to tell me the name because it doesn't make <laughs> sense, but have you seen any other idea, similar idea emerging? Yeah, of course, there are also coding clubs. I don't see them as competitors. I see them as a complementary, a, com a, a complementary mm -hmm. uh, like allies. course or like yes, uh, okay. totally, totally. And yes, it's it's very good also. And um, some students that they go to any other um, coding club, uh, they know about Luxembourg Tech School, and after they join and and they mm -hmm. love. Uh, repracticing the, the no, their knowledge or seeing different things, but they already have some background. So yeah, we see them as allies. Allies, like yes. you said. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, complementary courses. There are there, there are in Luxembourg for sure. There are few different associations or uh, institutions nice. already where they they teach tech. <laughs> <laughs> they can teach me. <laughs> they can improve my. Very basic HTML <laughs> skills. Yeah. But it is, it's important for everyone, for sure. Uh, no yes. matter the age and no matter the gender, yeah. it's for everyone. But I remember when I was uh, in, uh, um, well, before high school, I forgot what you call it. Secondary school? Uh, no, even before. Primary school? Mm, well, between five and, uh, uh, five, ten and uh, ah. fourteen. Anyway, between these ah, ages... Ah, we call it secondary school. Ah, okay. Oh, yes, secondary, secondary school. school. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, secondary school it is. <laughs> Sold. Uh, and I remember I had some very basic... Uh, I had the class with some very basic uh, things, like learning how to, to use Microsoft Office. And, ah, yeah. But <laughs> I think it was already a good first step. Yeah, of course. It's really important. It is. I I also needed those those courses, and after I was so proud, showing my mother, look, I can combine cells in Excel, <laughs> and I yes. can uh, create formulas, and and this is this is the the starting point yeah. basically. But it has changed so much since then. Mm, uh, yes. So now it's more complex, and you need uh, to learn many other things. Mm -hmm. I think. Yes. Like coding, I think because it's quite yes. important. It's evolving f quite fast. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, well, Carla, you have one more to go. Yes, my the last question, but might be one of the most important ones. What's your advice for girls who would like to have a career in technology? So, my advice would be that if they they would like to pursue a career in technology, they should go for it, <laughs> <laughs> uh, believing in the, in themselves uh, without fear, without thinking about the the existing stereotypes. 
they should forget about that. And they will also, um, I, I would also tell them to surround themselves with good people, like I did <laughs> uh, in my career. Um, also, I would say that they should encourage other girls that they, they are thinking about uh, pursuing a career in tech. It's really important. We also, coaches, uh, when they see us, we are many female coaches, they also get an example, I think. And our male uh, mm -hmm. coaches also, they, they encourage uh, uh, the girls and, and the guys to pursue their careers um, in tech. And if they after decide not to to go for a technological career, uh, it's, it's good to have those skills exactly. anyway. Absolutely. Nothing is lost. No, no. And also in, in our founder, I love what he says always, uh, Luxembourg Tech School is not only about programming. It's not a pro uh, coding club Program only. School, yeah. We focus a lot on soft skills, teamwork, uh, leadership, uh, yeah. problem solving. We really focus on those things that will apply to any career, mm -hmm. yes. any career and in your everyday life. Exactly. I think I remember him. He's from Venezuela. Yes. Right? Originally, yes. Originally, Correct. Yes. yes. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Okay. So he's still uh, nice. Yeah, yeah, he's really nice. But and you, I have, oh, sorry. Yes. Do, no, <laughs> he's I have really one nice one and, and, and motivates oh, us a lot. Oh, sorry. Oh, yes. No, no, no. No, that's <laughs> nice. No, no, no. <laughs> yes. like, Carla, you have an out of the blue question. Yes. Okay. Do yes. you have a role model? A what? A role model. Someone like that a female role model? Not could be a male. Why not? Like someone, someone that you, you look, admire. look up to. Exactly. That you admire. I am, I don't know because uh, actually I don't know. I I admired many of my teachers. Oh, when but I that's was young. nice. I yes. think they it just shows how important they can be. Yes, yes, yes. I I for example don't remember many teachers in primary school, but one yes, everything, the voice, the smell, everything and and she was for example playing classical music while we were studying mathematics or doing calculations wow, yes wow. in the class for me this was quite interesting i mean it was exactly. quite new in our class that she was playing classical music while, while we had to do the homeworks in math yes oh wow yes and also she 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 used to love creating theater and and performances in front of parents other classes and and use that time for us to ex express a lot ourselves with scripts really, really cool. Um, nice. And also she invented many songs okay. to learn, for example, the parts of the body or oh, the, the oh, names wow. of the veins. <laughs> yes. And, and That's really cool. for me yes. was, I think, one big role, one, one motor, cool. no? One role motor in my life. Mm -hmm. My mother also, my mother loves teaching um, and she studied history and she, I love how she, she uh, explains everything to everyone and to me also she mm -hmm. always loved doing um, like a Montessori activities mm -hmm. in, the, in the house and all it's really really inspiring and let's let's send the question back to Carla okay. so do you have any role model <laughs> <laughs> um I do Okay, <laughs> you do but you don't want to I wanna don't share. want to share <laughs> okay nice because um, if you ask me I don't I think that I have no. got to the point in my life where I admire many people, but I don't think they are role models because when, when I have believed in one, I have always found a flaw. Yeah. Well, no they one's have Exactly, perfect, exactly. But in my, in my still engineering little mind, uh, it's searching for perfection. And when, when you realize it's, of course, humanly impossible to be, to be perfect. I prefer to leave with the idea that we are, we all have something good mm -hmm. to, to give. And, um, and yeah, that's why I don't have one role model. I may have role models for different things and spheres in life. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And also for different moments in your life, you might have, for instance, I can tell you one name, Samantha Power. She was the US uh, ambassador in the UN. And I read recently her biography, and she's an amazing person. Okay. 
Yeah, and she works nice. with the uh, in the Obama administration and I I loved her book and she I don't know I was very touched is by is it the book you were mentioning lately no okay because <laughs> we have a little <laughs> fight but well, not little fight a little <laughs> anyway no, that's not the one but still um I think uh, there are so many incredible human beings out there oh, yes. it's hard to choose a role model but I think you can always take Bits, bits of, and pieces exactly yes, of that's combine my point. That's your yes. own yes. role model, exactly. model or role, yes oh, from many create, different yes, persons create one in your mind that looks like a cyborg or whatever <laughs> <laughs> <Piece of pieces. laughs> yes, okay yes. well i think uh we are we are done we are happily done because he, this has been a very very nice conversation oh, yes. I, i enjoyed a lot thank you so much it was so fun <laughs> yeah oh, that's nice <laughs> this to was hear. very it's, very, it's very cool. nice We are very happy with Carla when, when our, our guests feel like home. This is the idea of this podcast. Exactly. Exactly. Like That's why this like is home. Tech Talk. Technology made simple. Over a cup of coffee or... Or uh, in Spain we drink wine. What do you drink? <laughs> yeah, wine. Yes, for sure. Y one un, beer. Un, un vino Sangria. malagueño dul Sí, un sangria, sangria, un vino sangria, dulce, exacto. sweet wine, yes, exactly. for sure, we love it. I know, in the south <laughs> it's very sweet, yes. yes. But let's let's stay with sangria, please. Okay, A very yes, good sure. one, a very good yes. one, a very well done one. Okay, <laughs> cool. that's very nice. So um, thanks a lot and have an awesome uh, day and week. Thank you so much, and guys. happy Thank International you. Women's Day. I don't know if you should say happy anyway. Uh, I don't know, anyway, <laughs> I guess. The best International Women's Day possible. Thank That you. That day and the entire year. Thank you so much. Ciao. Thank you. Ciao. Ciao. And that's all for today. This is Tech Talk, technology made simple over a cup of coffee. Thank you for listening and until the next episode. <laughs>